I wear blue, it's what I do. Nerf is my thing too. And I'll see you someday. Maybe later. Well, now that's over with. Well, you know, it was going to be April Fool's, so I decided to do a prank video just for the heck of it. Uh, few of you actually bought it. A few of you are actually very concerned, so it's nice to know. Ugh. Gosh, everything's such a mess. You really don't film anything for nine months, and everything just kind of goes to heck. What's this? Gray? I don't wear gray. Gray's not my thing. Let's see. What do we have around here? Oh, that looks promising. See, funny thing is, I'm already so deep into Nerf, I don't think I could get out of it even if I tried. And with the world currently on lockdown, I figured I don't have anything better to do than to remake some of my videos. And by remake, I mean make a whole lot more and make a whole lot more better ones. Again, I don't script these, obviously. I just do it. So I figured what better way to kick off my first filming in more than nine months than with a video showing off all my attachments. And no, they're not all going to be stuck on blasters. That's kind of Coop's thing. Not my thing, but Coop's thing. So let's cut to whatever I'm going to show you for this. My very first video, part one of showing you guys my massive Nerf arsenal. Alrighty guys, so here is everything we are going to be going through for this first Arsenal video. Uh, this is attachments, out of frame. This is attachments, these are some rival mags, these are some drums, this is some tactical gear. We'll get into all of that, um, starting with all these attachments. Let me get these laid out, and we will see what happens then. You guys ready to see this? This is super awesome. This is my entire attachments library right here on the floor. Here we go. <sighs> Ta-da! Oh yeah. Look at all those. That's pretty cool. Let's, um, I'll uh, put you down and we can give you a tour. Alright, look at all that. Look at that, guys. All of my Nerf attachments out here. All my magazines. That, that is awesome. Believe it or not, everything fits in these three bins right here. Mostly. I have to use a few other bins. We'll get into this one later. This is, um, most of my tack gear. This is some other tack gear back here, but first let's go over all the attachments. Starting over here with all of the stocks. So we got the Battle Camo Battle Scout stock. This is a worker stock that is foldable and collapsible. I love this one. This one's super cool. The Scavenger stock with the two-shot Scavenger pistol. The Scavenger chop stock, which you should not use for an actual axe because it hurts. Because that's... That's hard plastic, and that hurts. Um, this is a Raider stock that I painted black, and I run on the back of my Artemis. This is the Modulus Ultimate Customizer Pack stock, the Modulus Storage stock, the Recon Mark II stock, the Nerf Elite Spectre stock. This one's actually pretty rare, but it's also garbage, so yeah, not a whole lot lost. The Demolisher stock. This one holds a Demolisher rocket, and that is super handy. This is a stock I technically pulled off of a sledge fire, and it's not supposed to come off, but I'm counting it anyway because it makes it even. Um, these are two Accutrooper stocks. I have two Accutroopers, so there's two. This is a Regulator stock. This is one of my favorites. It is the best magazine holding stock that Nerf has made. Two Retaliator Mark II stocks. Well, kind of. It's the white one, the Retaliator XT. Um, this is the stock that came off the Battle Camo Strife, and it is not Battle Camo on this part. And I don't like it as much, but still good. And then the Modulus Mediator System stock that has a double strike inside of it for easy access to a double strike. There it is. Very cool. Not always the handiest thing in battle, though. Alright, moving down to the scopes. We got two Modulus Long Range scopes. They are... Eh, okay. I never really use any of these. These are all just for looks. The Zombie Strike Dreadbolt Scope that is so dang bright green it goes on absolutely nothing. A really cool Modulus Day-Night Zoom Scope. This thing is amazing. It has night vision and it zooms and it's crazy. It's awesome. A Modulus Red Dot Sight. The Modulus Scope that came with the Modulus ECS-10, the very first Modulus Blaster. The Ultimate Customizer Pack Demolisher Sight. A scavenger site that has this little magazine holder that's almost completely useless. 
this Doom Land scope that came with the holdouts. Has two little dart holders in there. And that's it for the scopes. Moving on to the barrels. Try not to step on anything. It's kind of hard. Over here we have two Recon Mark II scopes. Um, forget that. Scratch that. Barrels. Recon Mark II barrels. I've been on scopes for too long. Spent too long on scopes. Three modulus long range barrel attachments. Two retaliator barrels. A mediator system barrel attachment. It was, yeah, that's pretty much it. It uh, shoots three darts out of the front. It's compressed air powered. It's super fun. That's a great attachment. A tri strike barrel attachment. Shoots mega darts with a hamp launcher. The regulator stock system. It's a barrel attachment with a handle on it. It's almost useless and I never use it. it it's super weird and I don't use it. The two barrels that came with the regulator. The Ghost Ops Evader barrel attachment. The Scravenger barrel attachment. The Modulus Ultimate Customizer Pack barrel attachment. A Blue Spectre Rev 5 Silencer. This, this is one of my favorites. This is really cool and really hard to find nowadays. Two Proximity barrel attachments from the Modulus line. An ion fire barrel, another ion fire barrel, another ion fire barrel, my foot, and another ion fire barrel. I have a lot of ion fire barrels for whatever reason. It It's weird. I also have a lot of ion fire little dart rail holders. I think there were a bunch on sale at Walmart and I just picked them all up. So that was great. They're, they're not great blasters. Down here to bipods and grips, we have two Centurion bipods. And then one modulus long range bipod, the rival Jupiter bipod. This is a grip that came off of the stampede that has a bipod built into the bottom. That's really cool. Two, I want to say retaliator grips. Yeah, they're retaliator grips. This one's from the XC. This one's from the original Elite. A modulus folding grip. And then another folding grip that came with the battle camo strife. Then moving on over here to a bunch of other attachments that don't really fit in. Anywhere, we have this massive twin slice star holder for the Scravenger. A Nerf Modulus flashlight attachment. A Scravenger flashlight attachment. This weird shell holding rail for the Trilogy that looks absolutely ridiculous on the Trilogy and doesn't really fit well on anything else. I just got this pack for the shells, so I don't really need that. I don't really use that a whole lot. Um, the Modulus 3 rail attachments. The Modulus Demolisher rocket holder attachments. An ammo rail that came with the Battle Camo Fire Strike. Yeah, the Battle Camo Fire Strike. And then a Modulus Magazine attachment. Holds an extra mag. That one's actually fairly useful. If you can find a side rail to put it on, that's good. And then seven Iron Fire little dart holder rails. Those are good too. Whew. All right, I gotta stand up straight, bending over. All the blood is rushing to my head. All right, so we're going to move on over to the magazines. Starting on this side with the largest, we have two 35-round drum mags that came with the Raider. And then one 30-round Infinite magazine. Nine 25-round drum magazines. That was interesting. I'm not sure where all those came from. One 18-round drum magazine. Two 18-round Firefly magazines. These are super cool. Charge glow-in-the-dark darts. I will show that off in another video. One clear 18-round stick mag. I have more 18s. They're in another bin because they wouldn't fit with all these in their bin. So there's that. Then all of these are my 12 round magazines. Just a few interesting ones to point out. Um, this is the 12 round magazine that came with the Jet Blaster Sita. This is the Rapid Red 12 round magazine, a double dealer 12 round magazines, the Scavenger 12 round magazines, and then all of them are just normal orange 12 round mags. Then here are the 10 round magazines. This one was from the Rev Reaper, the Doomlands. Desolator 12 round magazine. This one's super cool. Looks great in blasters. Four orange 10 round banana mags. One white, half white, half clear 10 round magazine. One rebel 10 round magazine that also charges glow in the dark darts. That is super cool. And a couple of six round magazines. This one I painted black for a project that I was working on. This is a 20 round vortex mag. These are just kind of miscellaneous mags over here. I do have more vortex mags, but they are in. Another blaster in my room. I will show you that later. Two 10-round Battle Scout clips. 
And yes, those are clips. More on that. A Centurion magazine. I actually have two of these, but the other one is in my Centurion. So that's great. And then we have seven. I want to say seven because it is seven. Seven 12-round rival magazines. And then eight. Eight seven-round rival magazines. And that pretty much rounds it out for attachments and magazines. Wow, that is a lot. How am I going to do this with every single blaster? Yeah, we'll figure out a way to make it work. All right. All right, guys, so we're going to go over some of the tack gear I've got here in this little crate. This is all of my Nerf tactical gear and equipment. Starting out, we have this. This was the Rival Sling that came with the Prometheus. It's got that awesome Rival patch right there. That is super fun, super comfy, super great. I have these little things. They are um, wrist dart holders, and you can just wear them on your wrist like that and then hold darts in them. They're good, but they're a little small, and I don't use them because they usually crush all the darts that you put in them. Uh, this is a Nerf Rival Bandolier, so also another strap. This one has um, dart holders all the way through it, and it is in blue, so that is the Elite version of that. That is very cool. Um, this is just a blaster strap. It has a few dart holders there and then a magazine holder right there. I don't usually use these to hold magazines because it's a very inefficient way of holding them. And uh, once you get them in, it's really hard to get them out. But it's a good blaster strap. Would recommend. This is a just a normal Nerf Rival blaster strap that has this nifty little pouch. has these two little elastic straps to hold rival seven round magazines and then whatever you want to hold in there you can too so that's a good one i usually take the patch off the pouch off and use it for something else i will show you more on that later this is a zombie strike hammer shot holster um it's not a bad holster rig there's a little loop for the belts and then one loop right here to go around your leg and it works okay. I have a different holster that I like to use with my hammer shot, but I'll go over that in a minute. Um, this is a little Nerf Rival Phantom Core pouch. There's um, one big compartment in there with a drawstring, so that is nice. And then one smaller compartment right there in the front. It um, has this to clip onto the belts, and then two leg straps to go around your legs, and that's... That's good. I use these for um, sock grenades, and they work really well for that. I think my sock grenade one is in this other bin that I will get around to showing you. This, this is weird. Now this thing, I'm not sure what they call this, but it's like the Nerf Tactical Utility Vest. It can't really be called a vest because it's not a vest, but what this is, is you wear it like... This. It's kind of like a pair of suspenders, and then it gives you a belt around your waist and this little pouch to hold extra stuff in. It's got some dart holders, got some magazine holders, and that's really cool. So that is good. Okay, we're getting into vests. Here is an old, like, first edition end strike vest. And it's all flipped around. There we go. All right. That's better. There it is. So yeah, it's got the little mesh pocket right there on the side. Actually, this is the holster area here on the side, back when they were nice and had holsters. Here's the little mesh pouch on the right side, and then it's got the Nerf logo on here, right there, and then the end strike shield on this side. Um, another Nerf Elite vest. This one's just a very standard Velcro clasp with a little hook thing here and the mesh pouch here and that's pretty much it very typical standard elite nerf vest and another one that i'm pretty sure is just the exact same thing oh now we're getting interesting this is this is a rival vest so this one it's got team indicators right here or um life counters I don't play with lives in our games. It gets really confusing after a while. This one has an interesting feature. Back here on each of the shoulders, there are loops for 12-round mags. 
So you can stick those and you can have two 12 round mags on each shoulder and then two on the front in these holders and then whatever you want in this little mesh, this little mesh pouch right here. This one's okay, but it's more like wearing an apron than an actual attack vest, so I don't usually run it a whole lot. Um, let's see, what's this? Oh man, this was my very first tactical vest. This is a seven toys vest. And um, it is falling to pieces. I've used this one so much. Um, it has a few magazine holders. It's got some dart storage, which I've actually used in wars. It works really well right here. And then nothing on this side aside from another dart holder. It's got this little pouch on this side. And yeah, whew, this one, this one's pretty cheap. It's kind of cheaply made and um, haven't used it in a while. All right, last vest in the bin is this. This is the Nerf Rival Phantom Core vest. This one has the team indicator and it also has a life counter. And then it's got a little mesh pouch on this side. And I think it's, um, nope, just more magazine holders on this right side. And then more magazine holders on the back. So you can hold three 12 round magazines on the back of the vest. And that's very interesting. A unique feature on that one for sure. Okay, that's all the vests except for the one I'm wearing, which is my favorite. Nerf brand tack vest. So I'll take this one off so you guys can look at it. This one is very nice. Velcro shoulder straps. And then it's actually got a zipper on to fasten it. It's got some dart storage up here. And then it's um, two elastic pouches for magazines. It holds 12 round magazines really well. And I really like that. And then on the other side, it's just a utility pocket. Triad fits amazing in here. That's usually what I run with it. And then two more magazine holders. And on the back, it has this massive holder for whatever you need. You can just hold stuff in there. And then there's also holes, or there is a hole on this side to grab stuff for when you need it too. This one's great. I used it in my beginner's guide to loadout video and didn't really go over the vest a whole lot. So there it is for you guys. You're welcome. Um, oh gosh, another really cheap piece. This is uh, my original hammer shot holster. This is not the greatest rig. Um, it's just this little Velcro velcro panel you wrap around to the size of your blaster and then it's got these two leg straps but there's nothing to hook it onto your belt so the problem i had with this one a lot was i'd strap it to my leg but it'd keep falling off and falling down my leg and that gets really annoying when you're running across the field and your hammer shot is suddenly down at your ankle it's it's very it was very unreliable and i had to make a few modifications to it but i've moved on and i'm using something different this this is a blaster carrier like a cloth blaster carrier so let's see, I think this is the top. Nope, that's the bottom. The bottom opens up, this one's the top. So you can take a blaster, put it in there, and then sling that across your back and it will hold a blaster. It's okay, but it's kind of, again, an, inef an inefficient way to store a blaster. You can't really get to it very quickly. So I usually steer away from that. And then yeah, that's it for this bin. Um, I have another bin right here that is all of my personal gear that I'm using currently so uh, give me a second we will uh, get this mess over here cleaned up and I will show you that all right so we got everything cleaned up everything's good we got all our attachments in the back here and over there um, so yeah we're gonna start unboxing this bin this is all my current tactical gear that I use in wars nowadays uh, there's some really cool stuff in here that I will show you this aha this is my current hammer shot holster, and um, man, I love this thing. This is a blaster part, I want to say SX. It's available on outofdarts.com. It is the smaller model. It holds the hammer shot, the strong arm, the disruptor beautifully. It has this really durable um, kind of almost seat belt clip system that you can clip into a loop on your belt. So I leave one on my battle belts at all times so I can clip this in and it's got these two leg straps that are also secured by adjustable miniature seat belt clips and it is it runs like a dream this thing is amazing I will do a full video uh, demonstrating all my gear and how I will use it later this is an arsenal video so just showing you what I have right now what else um, nerf rival vision gear this stuff is really cool I wear prescription glasses 
so I don't really need vision co vision gear. I just think it looks cool. Yes, I am super geek. I need a life. I have one. It's on YouTube. <laughs> okay, back at it. Um, so those are neat. I um I really like the look of those. Those are cool. We'll put those up there so those don't get crushed. This is an airsoft mask. I use this as a um, lower face mask for when I don't want to wear a full face mask and um, fog up my vision and everything. This is a great alternative to getting hit in the nose or the mouth or any part of the face as that is ridiculously uncomfortable. So yeah, just goes on like that. And instead of being a plain black mask, it's got this awesome patch on it with the teeth. I love it. It's so intimidating. It's great. Great mask. Um, it does rub up against my nose on the inside. So um, really got to get around to fixing that. We'll see if I can. This is a large utility pouch that I run on my belt rig somehow. So large utility pouch, super easy. Just clip that open. Velcro, lots of space in there. I typically use that for holding grenades, but more on that later. All right, um, this is just a cloth mask. This was actually um, from Bunker, and it was branded with the National Blaster League logo on it, and that was cool. I, um, I got it because I did enjoy the National Blaster League, and I really enjoyed watching it, and I sent in like five applications to be on it and um they never got back to me so that sucks oh uh, here we go this is my um phantom core rival pack that i use a lot i um, modified it slightly i put a strip of female hook and loop on the inside so it wouldn't the front pocket wouldn't velcro shut anymore it's great for holding throwing stars and this is great for holding sock bombs that is what i use that for um Elbow pads, pretty standard crash pads. I um, suggest these. These are these will save your elbows from some nasty stuff. I have fallen before, and uh, these definitely help. These are just standard black army crash pads. I got these from Out of Darts. It came in a set of four with these. These are the knee pads. They are much larger, and I have put these things through the ringer. In fact, the Velcro is coming off. At the seams right there so I might have to either invest in new ones or resew the velcro on I use them that hard these are amazing they can take a beating and they will save your knees when you're six foot four you're doing a lot of crouching and kneeling on the ground they are lifesavers I definitely recommend and then hand protection let's get these unclipped so these are HK Army crash gloves maybe not no these are Zephyrs these are Zephyr crash gloves just found them on Amazon this was for a cosplay thing that I was doing, but they are fantastic. Full hand protection, and they look amazing. They look like you're a cyborg or something. They aren't the most comfortable because they've got kind of this rubberized, almost armor on the outside, but they are really nice and will definitely protect your hand from impact. So that is really cool. Um, I'm not seeing my other pair of gloves that I almost always run in here. I might have left it somewhere else. Give me a second. All right, so um, I left some of my tech gear in my tack pack with all my other blasters and stuff after my last war, so I'm just gonna open it up, go over what's in here as well, because it should be in this bin. I just don't get around to putting things back, especially after a Friday night war. Um, this is a multi-tool. And it's open to the Phillips head screwdriver tool because that's really handy to have around. Good for getting into Nerf blasters, removing air restrictors that you don't want. All right, here we go. These are fingerless cycling gloves. And they're very minimalistic. Not a lot of frills, but these are fantastic. They have padding on the palms. And they just fit like a second skin it is amazing. Definitely saved my hand from a few impacts. And they are super comfortable. And the only gloves I've ever worn that don't feel like you're wearing gloves. So I wear these to almost every single war I go to. These, these are great. And they match all my gear because 
Blue. It's what I do. And if is my thing too. That's great. And they've got these handy little loops on the fingers so you can just pull them off with out flipping all of the fingers inside out. Always flip the thumbs inside out, but that's good. Got those. Other pair of gloves. Let's see. I think, yep. Fantastic. So this is my battle belt. This is also from Out of Darts. No surprise. I get almost all my tag gear from Out of Darts, Foam Blast, sites like that. I'd check them out. They are amazing. This is the loop with the clip for my holster whether my small holster or my larger holster that is in this backpack that I will show you. And then aside from that, I always have this on it. This is a dump pouch that unfolds like so. And then it is an absolutely massive dump pouch and holds thousands of rival rounds and has a little panel on the front for a patch and a drawstring. And it is just amazing. I love this dump pouch. It is definitely my favorite model. So that is my belt rig. Up next, and I think that does it for the tack pack. That should do it. Is um, This is my Kronos holster, and it's got stuff on it, so give me a second. Yeah, should have cleaned this up. All right. So this is my Kronos holster, and it's just like the SX, except it's a little bigger. I think this is either the FX or the MX, but it is blaster parts, as per that little blue tab right there. They both have, it's got this little Velcro to hold your blaster in. It is adjustable to all blaster sizes. It fits the Kronos beautifully, and then it also has the clip on the top and the two side straps to keep it around your leg. But I kind of tricked this one out a little. I put these on the bottom strap. So these are Foam Technician speed loader holders for the Kronos. So you can just take a speed loader and clip it right in to those holders and then pull them out when you need it. Oh, that's in backwards. There we go. And then those just rest on your leg like that and it is amazing. Another video on that, my personal loadout will be coming and I will show you how that all comes together. All right, moving right along in the bin. Trying to keep this a short video, failing miserably. All right, so this is my other dump pouch. This was my first go at the dump pouch and um, this model's okay. It's just really, really flat. Look at that, it's almost like um, an Amazon bubble mailer and it doesn't really hold stuff all that well because it just keeps going back to that flatness. And it, it's okay, it just takes up a lot of space on a rig this way, and it doesn't hold a whole lot, so I don't use it all that often. But still, not a bad dump pouch, just not my style. This is my favorite Nerf brand blaster strap. So this one is interesting because half of it is for magazines, this top half is all magazine holders, and the bottom half is for darts. And then the logo piece under there, that's also a magazine holder. And then it's also got these nice metal clips that are fully rotatable and spring-loaded. So you can just clip them on, and it's super sturdy, and it's really nice. That is by far my favorite. All right, here is all my 18-round magazines, and how'd that get in there? Another 12 rounds, apparently. I have 12 rounds, so many. And um, let's see. Yep, here's the rest of the 18s. And then these are magazine holding rigs. So they did have pouches on them, but I just took them and tucked them behind. And if it's two 18 round magazines on that, and it is fantastic. I run two of these on my battle belts, and it also has a little place for the patches. And this one has a, um, this is actually a glow in the dark shield logo patch. So that is super cool. And then the rest of my 18 round magazines, there's um, six uh, plus the eight I have over here. That's math. I can't do math. Not right now. It's been a long Sunday. And then the rest is full of sock bombs. Uh, these are made per the Ragnar Oktoberfest standards that Out of Darts did a video on a couple years ago or last year or something. I don't remember when it was, but um, I just 
went to uh, Ross, found a bunch of socks, and then duct taped them up. And now I have like 20 of these sock bombs, and these are fantastic. More on what these do in another video. But um, yeah, I think that is pretty much it. That is all my tech gear, everything I got. So, all right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, stay tuned for part two of the Arsenal video, and then part three, four, and five. It's going to be a lot, but thank you for sticking with me to the end. I know this one was kind of long. I'll try and keep the other ones a little shorter. So, yeah, see you for part two. Hopefully, airing later today. So, yeah, stop by for that. It's going to be awesome. I'm Blue Wolf Nerf, as always. You'll see me in the next one.